All right, y'all. So it's AGP here now. <clears throat> Some things don't change. Uh, it's 2020, and um, my my New Year's resolution should have been not losing footage or audio. Um, I would have failed. I would have failed in the first video that I'm sending or putting out because I lost the audio for this was just not good. I screwed it up. So, I, anyways. <clears throat> I'm glad to be back. <laughs> it's been like three weeks since my last video. That was a hiatus. That might have been the longest for me. And it was completely unintentional. Um, I had to go overseas to England for a wedding, for my cousin's wedding. It was a great time. But uh, I, at the time period, I didn't, and during the time period, I didn't get to record anything really at all. Um, so this is my first video for 2020. But it's, my first official one will be one that's an actual video. This is more so just talking to y'all apologizing for being so late and being like you know this is what we're going to do for this year this is the plan for this year um so i guess for this i should start off really by saying like what, what i think my new schedule is going to be because i really do want to post every day and because i want to post every day what i'm probably going to do is go back to walkthroughs now if y'all have been you know rocking with me since January 2019 then you'll know that I, I started off with Jump Force really was, was I was giving people tips on the environmental change and um, things of that nature what teams are good to use maybe some tips on some of the characters some of their fighting styles it was my first time even jumping into YouTube and making videos so some of them are cool some of them are eh you know <laughs> but you know I'm generally I'm proud of all of them but yeah so I started off with Jump Force videos and you know it took a while for Jump Force to even get to me because the pre-order copy I had, you know, it just, it wasn't working. Digital copies, everything got screwed up, so. Um, but yeah, so then I started doing walkthroughs, you know, and then I stopped doing walkthroughs. Uh, so, but because I want to give y'all a video every day, walkthroughs for me is easy for me to do because then I can do that, give y'all content, and then give y'all other types of content as well so um originally what i'm gonna do is i'll probably because i want my new schedule to be dropping a video all the like, time every day oh my gosh shut your ass up you said that already stupid anyways so the schedule will be probably walkthroughs of one or two games from monday to thursday or monday to friday we'll see to stream one of those days probably on the weekend maybe friday or saturday to give an info video on one of those days, those last three days I'm still scrambling to see what I'm going to do for those last three days, but they're going to consist of a stream, an info video, and maybe something new like like a, um, a movie review or something like that, or maybe a comic book, talk about comic books and see like with this new Marvel phase, like, you know, it, uh, what comic books they're copying off of or what we think might happen, something like that. I might do that, I'm not sure. But um, obviously this is a gaming channel, so most of the content will be gaming. But that'll just be a little little fun thing, you know, to do at the end of the week. Something cool that people might like. Um, that I know I'll enjoy doing because I love all that stuff. But, yeah, so that's that's the plan for 2020 now. Um, obviously, it's, it's 2020 and there's a lot of games that are coming out, like, soon. We're talking about within some a couple of months. Within the first couple of months, first, second quarter of 2020 that we've been waiting for. Although, I think Watch Dogs 3 slash Legion got pushed back. So, that might not come till quarter 3. Um, and then you start to wonder, are they just going to make it a PS5 and Xbox release? You know, they could. You know, you know, you, know, you never really know. Um, and it's not an exclusive, so they could... I mean, both companies would make plenty of money off of it, I'm sure. But, yeah, so, obviously... Uh, what we are gonna get into is because I want to play all those games. I want to play, you know, Ghost of Tsushima, um, Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legion, The Last of Us Part Two. Um, I want to play all those and put them on the channel. Um, ideally, I'll have a walkthrough for all of them. And then if I can't do a walkthrough for all of them, you'll get some kind of video from me, like highlights or something of that nature. Um, it'll be a fun time. Now, just to go on a little. It's not really a side brand, it's just games that haven't necessarily been announced. Or they've been announced, but we know nothing about it. We don't even know if it's coming in 2020 or coming, it could possibly be coming in 2021. Is we know God of War 2 is gonna is happening. We know Spider-Man 2 is happening. I guess it's got a PlayStation exclusive thing. Anything about that? Horizon Zero Dawn um, 2 is probably coming. I think they said there's some stuff floating in the air about how that, that's possibly happening. Um, I didn't finish... The first Horizon Zero Dawn. I've gotten pretty far in it, but I don't really know where I, you know, 
if I'm close to the end or not. I mean, I'm enjoying it, so I'm not I'm not trying to get to the end really fast. But I do, at the same time, have a little bit of impatience for it, because I'm like, everybody's saying it's great, and so far it has been, and now I'm just curious, because the story is so good, to see how it ends, you know, and to see, like, what the sequel might be about, if it ends the way I'm thinking it ends. Because right now, I don't know how you make a sequel of this once you do the main objective, um, which is probably going to be, obviously, a combination of the last few missions. But, um, that aside, I'm wondering when we're going to get another Uncharted that I assume, that my guess, or theory, is that it'll be featuring his daughter. I apologize if this is a spoiler. If y'all haven't played Uncharted 4 by now, it's been four years, so I assume you're not going to play it. <laughs> um, or you're just going to watch people play it. But, yeah, there's a daughter at the end, and, you know, you take control of her for a little, but you don't do anything crazy. You really just walk around their house, and then she asks her parents... She found, like, their room that had a lot of the artifacts and stuff that they ran into when they were going, like, between Uncharted 1, uh, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and she's just asking them questions, and, you know, ideally they'll make her the next Nathan Drake. Um, she won't be Nathan, obviously, she's a woman. It'd be funny if they kind of, I, I wonder, well, it'll still be Uncharted, obviously, and, I, and, you know, speaking of that, the first one I want to do for 2020 will probably be Lost Legacy. Um, and then I'll do info videos about Ghost of Tsushima if they're gonna give us any new info, but, um, I guess it'll kind of play like Lost Legacy in a lot of ways, um, and, you know, I don't know if we're gonna get another Tomb Raider or not, more than likely we will, but Shadow of the Tomb Raider was good, um, yeah, so that's what I'm, my guess is gonna be with the next Uncharted is gonna be about, some, one of my boys told me that he kind of wanted to see a Sully and Sam story, that could be cool. That could be cool. The thing is, Sully didn't do much in Uncharted 4. Like, I think the point was that he was older now. I mean, he was always old. He was old by the time we got to Uncharted 3, but, you know, he, Uncharted 4, he really wasn't with the shits. Like, he wasn't even trying to... He was like, bro, I'm trying to go home and lay down. Y'all keep playing with me and bringing me into this nonsense. Um, but, yeah, so now I'm curious, too, is that other game that I'm looking forward to that I really want is Splinter Cell. I need a new Splinter Cell, y'all. I need a new Splinter Cell. That's I need it. The last one came out six years ago on PS3, <clears throat> and or now seven years ago, seven to eight because I think it was like 2012, 2013, um, and it was a great game. And I can't wait for that because there's a 200% chance that the, the next Splinter Cell will be on the channel. You know. Um, Speaking of Ubisoft, some other stuff that's supposed to come out at the end of the year is Assassin's Creed. The next Assassin's Creed was supposed to be a Vikings era Assassin's Creed. Um, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I can't wait um, till this next one, although I'm not gonna lie, I played all the games up to Origins more than once, beat them more than once, loved them. Um, I hated what they did with Desmond. There was that, that was disrespectful, but uh, you know, I digress. Um, they, they, they got rid of Desmond just to basically give us another Desmond. She's a female and she basically has the same situation going on as Desmond. And you're just like, what was the point in killing off somebody when you got those complaints to just bring somebody back? Like, that makes no sense. Like, just like replace them with somebody new. Like, anyways, but the only game, Assassin's Creed game, that I didn't play really was the last one. I didn't play it at all, actually. I've only seen some videos on Odyssey. Um, there's a couple reasons as to why I didn't play it. Um, really the main one is just that, like, I thought Origins was supposed to be the beginning of the Assassin's Creed order, which it was, but they're saying, oh, they weren't the first assassins. I'm like, thanks, like, people have been assassinating each other since the beginning of time. We know that. Like, what was the point in giving us Odyssey and being like, this took place before that? It was just dumb. It felt like a filler game to me, almost. It didn't feel like they were really trying to go anywhere with the story and either jump into the Vikings era, which I think would be cool. And I'm still waiting on the Japanese era one where you get a samurai assassin of some kind or a ninja assassin of some kind. Which is kind of what Ghost of Tsushima is going to be like, but that's, you know, we'll have discussions about that, of course, because I can't wait for that. Sucker Punch is really good at hiding their stuff and hiding information. They don't really get leaks. Like, like at the end of 2019, I had leaks and stuff. I had a lot of info to give you about Death Stranding. I look up info for Ghost of Tsushima all the time, and there's nothing. There's really nothing. Like, um, all we know right now is that there's not going to be any waypoints, which I talked about in my trailer reaction for it. You have to check that out. You know, uh, tell me how you feel about Ghost of Tsushima if you want it, if you even care about it, or if you're just, just kind of on the fence. You think it's cool, but you don't know. You might want to see some people play it. 
Um, I think it's gonna be dope. It looks like it has a lot of aspects of a lot of games we like, like Batman, Arkham Asylum, or the Arkham series, I should say. Um, along with some Assassin's Creed aspects. And, I, I mean, it just looks it looks cool. I mean, to me, I can't wait. Um, but that's what that's what I'm really looking forward to for this year. There was um, God of War two. You know that. See, some some of these games might be coming out in 2021, and we just kind of have little hints. There's a little stuff floating around the air about them coming out. Uh, like I said about Horizon Zero Dawn 2, I don't know how it's going to go, depending on how this game ends. God of War 2, I don't know how it's going to go, but you know they can continue that series because they did it once. This this last God of War was basically a reboot, and it was a hell of a start for a reboot, so, you know, I'm really curious. I think it'll be a great year. Um, I want y'all to tell me, though, in the comments, probably what game you're most excited for, right? And what system you're gonna get if you're not gonna get both or if you're gonna get both, you know, the Xbox Series X or the PS5. I don't know why Microsoft always makes it difficult. Like Xbox Series X, really? That was the name you came up with. You had a lot of other options. You really did. But it'll be cool. It looks cool. Um it's a tower looking uh you know thing. You know thing, <laughs> which is cool. I mean I feel like the systems are gonna get bigger and bulkier even some um because they're trying to fit all these components like both of these are supposed to have solid state drives in them um you know so now it just kind of defeats the purpose of the slims it's like it's the weirdest thing it's kind of how cell phones went right where it's like at first cell phones were big as hell then they tried to make them smaller and then people were buying for the smaller cell phone just to now get to these phones with screens that are just getting bigger each generation like it's just like, what is with this up and down? But I guess it's whatever is in style at the time. Um, but because of how we use our phones these days, I assume that the screens aren't going to get any smaller after this because people do so much on their phones, like watching movies and TV shows. And every damn company is going to have an app for streaming. And, you know, so. But that's, that's discussions for another day, another, you know, situation. Um, and I was talking about some of the movie review, reviews that I was saying because I worked at a movie theater. And I have some connections, so I get to see some movies early, some screenings, and I kind of want to talk about some of those because they're cool. Like, and they start real discussions. Like, you know, I got to see The Rise of Skywalker early. I got to see, um, shoot, I got to see Endgame early. I got to see Joker early. Got to see Just Mercy early. So like, it'd just be fun to see how people feel about some of these movies but that'll just be a fun thing and then you know and then but again channels mostly about gaming um it's just like i thought i'd throw some other cool stuff in it there's a lot of other stuff i really like but that's what i kind of want to do for 2020 um it'll be a good time i just want to know man like there's some games that i'm i'm excited for that i really 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 can't wait for and i really hope so my, I have high hopes for pretty much every game that's supposed to come out um, <laughs> that's been announced uh, from you know Watch Dogs Legion to Cyberpunk 2077 to um, Ghost of Tsushima to Last of Us Part 2 I think they're all going to be really really good so I mean I, it should be a lot of fun recording it this was one of the most gangster moments in Horizon Zero Dawn I had for me yeah this was tough but yeah man so we gonna see. This is gonna be a good year. I, I'm a, I'm a hopefully be able to have some more like real like info videos about Ghost of Tsushima. I'm excited for it. It's the one game that's coming out soon that we really have virtually no info on. I think everything else we've gotten more. I guess we're well, Watch Dogs Legion. We haven't gotten much since, but they had a time period there where they were dropping a few things for us to see. Um, we got good looks at the gameplay for Ghost of Tsushima. We really still haven't had much gameplay. Look, we had their little. Their little preview from like 2017, like, <laughs> um, and it looked dope. But you assume it's gonna look even better. That I made uh, a couple of videos about Ghost of Tsushima, but I was gonna say the the new releases for the new systems. Um, we know, I mean, they're coming out earlier. Like you'll be able to play Last of Us Part Two and Ghost of Tsushima, uh, you know, on PS4 and finish it. Um, and PS5 and I think Xbox Series X are both supposed to be fully combat, fully backwards compatible. So, if you don't want to go buy a PS5 version of the game. But I'm sure that when the systems come out, PS5 is going to have to drop with Ghost of Tsushima. It's good PS5 is going to have to drop with Last of Us Part 2. Uh, the question is, what else are they going to drop with it? Probably Assassin's Creed. You know, 
know, like, because Assassin's Creed comes out late anyways, and you wonder if they're gonna move it to the other systems. They might not, though. They're, they might give us two versions, but they, they, you know, because if it's really backwards compatible, you could get a PS4 version and play it on your PS5, so you don't necessarily need to get it. But you assume that you'd have to get a PS5 or Xbox Series X game to get the full uh, benefits of having the new systems, you know, all together and whatnot. But, yeah, y'all, so I'm, I'm gonna probably put up some videos on my social media and stuff about my trip. Um, to England. I had a little vlog action. I'll probably do that sometimes. Like, if I do go anywhere exotic or fun, I'll probably vlog it a little. Put that up. I might put some of it up on the channel, too. Maybe a couple clips. Um, but, yeah, that's what that's what 2020 has in store for me as for us. In store for us as a, as a unit. You know? And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all had a good time. And I'm gonna catch up with my first official like videos for 2020 soon. I'm still gonna put out my last uh, the Fallen Jedi Order video that I was gonna put out before my three week disappearance, um, where I got the double edged lightsaber, uh, showing people how to get that. If you don't know how to get that already, but you probably do. I mean, you've seen it everywhere. I, I had to go figure it out myself because I was like, where do you get this? Because I see it everywhere, but nobody told me how to get it. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Thank you.